Okay, I'm gonna do a, an homage to Dennis Miller, one of my favorite uh, comedians. Uh, it's kind of a kind of a rant, but in the form of um, musings. Five questions that I have that uh, some of the answers are uh, obvious, but some you'll have to think about. Uh, I guess I'll start with um, uh, Joe Biden and everyone, uh, all the politicians saying, listen to the scientists. To me, it's a cover. Uh, some of the, Sometimes in science, you can't disagree with their conclusions. So at least uh, that gives them cover if they say, listen to the scientists. Um, okay, let's think about that. When it first came out, their top scientist, uh, Dr. Fauci, said, you don't need to wear masks. Um, now, I spoke to some doctors in China who I knew and know, and they said, this is true. The, the mask itself doesn't protect you. Um, so I'm not going to go deep into that. If you, if you, if you uh, research it, it's obvious. It, it's not that uh, you should go around not wearing a mask, but the mask itself doesn't protect, protect you. What it is is if you keep your distance from someone who may be talking to you or spitting, uh, so the saliva or the particles don't come into your, your area, that's what uh, the point of it is. So as long as you're doing that, then uh, wearing a mask itself is not uh, necessarily important. Um, so he said that. Now, later when he was called out on it, he said, oh, I just was worried about people hoarding masks. Well, which is it? They're not important or you, I mean, it just, so he lost credibility right there and then, but yet people continue to say, uh, listen to Dr. Fauci, listen to the scientists. Um, to me, uh, you should just use common sense. Um, when I was young, I was taught the importance of hygiene. Uh, it seemed like many other people weren't. Now all of a sudden they're playing catch up. Uh, I recall being in uh, China, whenever I'd go into the bathroom, uh, the number of men I could count on my hand who washed their hands after uh, doing what they sh were doing. And to me, this was unacceptable. Um, in North America, it's not much better. It is better, but not much better. And now all of a sudden, uh, we have a problem where diseases are spread. I won't go into it further than that. Um, I will point out to those who are paying attention that a Denmark study just came out I don't know if it was a month ago or so, uh, and said exactly what I just said. Masks, masks do uh, little to nothing, uh, and why we're pinning all our hopes on just wearing a mask. Uh, and now we're a year into this thing, and now uh, the premier is saying, um, well, let's uh, have every at the air, everybody at the airport uh, uh, checked, or what did he say, blood tested or tested. Um, why don't you, to me, just admit <coughs> that you failed? And all of this could have been prevented. I remember um, being in China when it first started, and uh, I said to my friend Danny, this is going to be big. This is going to be so big, uh, but nobody's going to listen to us if we tell them now, do something. They'll just say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. But I remember distinctly talking with Danny, saying this is going to be big, um, the problem is nobody listens to you. Everybody uh, thinks they know. Nobody listens. Uh, number two, the UK came out today and were criticizing China about uh, their treatment of a journalist. And um, to me, this is uh, the utmost hypocritical, uh, whatever you want to say, hypocrisy. Um, while they have uh, trying to kill Julian Assange by uh, neglect in jail, uh, they have the gall to say that about another journalist. Um, Julian Assange and Edward Snowden, to me, are the heroes of our generation. Uh, they are the only two who speak out against this um, wrongs that continue to happen. Um, and uh, the way they've been treated, to me, is just indicative of the way uh, this world is going. Uh, Julian Assange and Edward Snowden both should be pardoned. Uh, no question about it. Um, 
they they informed us of what's going on. Now, make no mistake, they're being treated this way at the behest of the U.S. Let's not uh, 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 be uh, uh, on that point. Let's not forget that. Uh, just as uh, Tony Blair did the same for George Bush with the Iraq War, uh, I won't go further than that. Um, the next one is... Um, T Toronto is the most diverse city in the world, I read the other day. And when I, re I still recall in uh, school us being taught the benefits of multiculturalism. And I'm not saying uh, one way or the other any comment. I'm just simply asking the question. Is it still working for us? <coughs> is it still uh, great to have um, uh, this uh, immigration... Um, uh, policy that we have. I'm just asking the question. I'm not making a comment one way or the other. I'm not trying to get you to lean one way or the other. I'm simply asking the question. Is it working? Um, and number five, why do people still continue to give money to uh, preachers like um, Joel Osteen, uh, Kenneth Copeland, the list goes on and on. You can look them up. Benny Hinn. Why are we still giving money to these grifters? I don't get it. Uh, the Catholic Church, probably one of the richest peop, uh, entities in the world. Uh, what they've done, I won't go into it, what they've done to uh, some boys and um, some things, to me, I just don't know why people continue to give them a penny, let alone the billions of dollars that they reap. Um, I remember being in Europe, going into the churches to look at some of the architecture, um, and they would have all these uh, places and things you could donate money to, and people would. And I was just shocking. You can't tell people uh, uh, some of the things, but I'm just still shocked about the things I saw. Um, I remember going into a church in Bogota uh, and everyone who's from Bogota has been to that museum. Uh, the things you see, what the church did to Galileo and all the other people will just make you uh, gasp in disbelief. It was just shocking. I had the greatest uh, tour guide and she gave me lots of uh, answers to my questions and I left that um, church asking her how could you still believe in uh, Catholicism after what they did to those people I was just in uh, disbelief I couldn't believe what I saw um, and the last one is how does the media go along with this um, I listen well I no longer listen to the news but when I did it was like listening to inside edition pretending to serve as a news item um, it is shocking. Global National the other day had, uh, I kid you not, 15 minutes of people like Jack Meet Sin and all the other politicians uh, reading a poem or something. I just don't know why anyone continues to watch the news. Uh, I certainly don't, and I would encourage you not to do so either. So those are some questions I have for you to uh, ask yourself and give an answer. Okay? Bye.